everyone. Welcome back to QSR Nation, your weekly source of food service marketing and business strategies for success. Here are your hosts, Josh, Beth, Tony, and Grant from the PFS Brands National Headquarters in Holt Summit, Missouri. Hey everybody, welcome back to QSR Nation. As always, we have Josh, Grant, Beth, and Tony here from the PFS Brands National Headquarters in Holt Summit, Missouri to talk about food service marketing and business strategies for success. Today's an exciting day. We actually have a new podcast set up for once, so we're getting actually moving on up. When we kind of got called out on Twitter, (laughs) it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Somebody said the quality was terrible, and they were probably right. We apologize uh, for that, but hopefully it's a little better. Yeah, we're moving on up. We are professional looking. Mm. Okay. <laughs> they can't see us. So. No, he helped. He helped improve. What yes, we, we do yes. appreciate your feedback. Yeah. Anytime you do have feedback, please let us know. Yeah. But today we're going to talk about how you can continually improve yourself through conferences, webinars, and things like that. And that's kind of a plug for upcoming Grit Summit. But it's a good way to uh, improve your leadership skills and business skills. Yeah, I mean, Grit Summit's coming up September 24th through the 26th, and that's Grit with two T's. I'm just going to go ahead and just say that, so gritsummit.com if you wanted to register. Um, But it's going to be a fantastic conference. There's going to be over 40 speakers, um, over 32 different sessions, and then four tracks to be able to pick from. Um, Just make sure that you're picking the courses that are going to be the right ones for you, and so you're not wasting any of your time or money. So why is it important to actually go to these kinds of events? I mean, first off, the number one thing that you want to do is be able to better yourself. So if you want to get a better professional mindset, figure out how you can start winning a little bit more and just understanding what you can do in your business personally and professionally just to make sure that you're doing the right things. There's always different trends. There's always different things happening. But I know at this summit that's coming up, it's going to be fantastic information from industry experts. So whether you're just in the business field or if you're in food service, this is going to be a great conference for you. But also it gives you an opportunity to bring some of your leadership in there, whether it's a store manager, whether it's regional managers, I mean, whatever size of business you may be, I mean, be able to bring them together. And whether it's for Grit Summit or any other conferences or workshops, I mean, they're they're very, very, you know, um, generally key towards, you know, improving the communication and understanding within your teams. I mean, a lot of times there's a disconnect and people don't understand maybe the full impact of what their job and their role can actually lead to as far as for growth or decline in the business. And taking a moment, getting away from the business, sit back, refresh, listen to other people, get different perspectives. And then also, you know, taking notes and learning. And and there might be things you already know, but maybe you just aren't doing now. And you need that refresher, that kind of kick in the butt to say, hey, get back to doing these things. Or it might be things that are aha moments for you and your business and your team and be like, you know, I, I didn't even think about it from that angle. Right. And with the way uh, technology is always changing, you know, that's why it's important to go to these conferences, you know, every year. Um, because when you get to, the, you know, by next year, there'll be something new out there that, you know, um, is kind of taken over. And uh, you just, you know, you need to stay aware of, you know, what all is out there for you to you know, help run your business a little better. So. Yeah, for sure. And I like to Tony's point, too, you may have been doing some of these things in the previous, you know, months, years, or whatever, and you've kind of gotten away from them. But then as you, um, you know, hear these speakers and hear that you can do some of these webinars and workshops and things like that, it might, like he said, it could be your aha moment where you connect two or three pieces together that really can help your business. Well, and it's not just always going to be, you know, even maybe the traditional business side, but it could be the culture in your company that maybe you didn't even realize you don't have, or maybe you didn't realize maybe you didn't have the best culture that you could have put out there. Um, it could be just through personal professional development. Um, it could be having your team have the aha moment. Maybe you get it. Maybe you understand it. I mean, it's your business. You own it. You love it. You live it. But getting your other uh, key members on board to maybe they won't, they're not taking it from you, not because it's any type of insubordination situation, but just because they just aren't connecting those dots. And so getting your team to you know the summit or to a, a conference or workshop, even something as simple as a webinar sometimes can really help you know, give the team members just a little bit better insight to how important they truly are to the success and failure of the business, which they are personally tied to financially. So they, you know, hopefully are motivated when they come out of the Grit Summit, when they come out of a workshop, et cetera, to say, hey, you know, I can make this better and it will financially impact the store, the team, you know, and myself by putting forth some of these things I've learned. 
you know, a lot of times it's kind of funny. Um, I know that Josh and I do a lot of different certifications, but getting that certificate at the end uh, for just kind of including someone into a different webinar or session that they're able to learn, it takes a couple different hours. It's that sense of pride of, hey, this is what I did. I took time out of my day to be able to educate myself. That's going to be better for me and for the company. Um, so that, I mean, I always try and encourage people to do those webinars. I know that we work with HubSpot, and so we're able to do a variety of different certifications, and they're five, six-hour courses. But, you know, for, for example, Josh, not, we love to be able to put on our LinkedIn profile that, hey, we're now certified for this. But <laughs> yeah. you also get a certificate at the end. It's a little vanity kind of, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing it, wrong with that. It is not that we're competing for how many certificates that we get. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, it's just something like that to be able to educate yourself and your employees and know that, hey, not only can you take pride in it, the fact that you've got a certificate or whatever, but we really appreciate you taking the time out of your day just to improve yourself. And I think that's what is the most important thing when it comes to any type of these webinars or events that you can go for is always try and take something out of it that you know that you're going to be able to implement and have those actions that are going to help you in the future in your company. Yeah, for sure. And there's there's so many of these conferences out there. I mean, there's thousands of them. So there's something out there that can help you improve your business no matter what. Well, exactly. I mean, and that's that's one thing that, um, you know, I, I go sometimes and I, I see like maybe a speaker because I, I like that individual. I, I like what they do. I, I follow them on LinkedIn or Twitter or whatever, you know, and, and I, I want to participate and, and hear what they have to say. Um, then you have some of the different events that um, go on like this one with Grit Summit where you've got 40 speakers, you know, and you, so you're going to get a lot of different takes on a lot of subjects. But what's great is, you know, an event like this can help you really, you know, craft and tailor, okay, I, I want to hear this speaker, I want to move to this breakout session, I want to really hone in on these particular areas because it's where I either – I feel I'm strong in, but I really want to put myself over the top, or it's an area that we're lacking in, and we just want to make sure we have a foundational understanding of what's going on in this space, so I'm going to attend this session. So getting 40 speakers, you know, and all the different subject matter and everything that's there, you know, I, I believe uh, there's going to be an entire booklet handout that goes with it that you get at the mm -hmm. summit, so you can take notes. You don't have to have a whole bunch of junk to carry around and, and carry back. You're going to be able to actually have one, you know, bind a bound piece that yeah. you know is going to have all that information all your takeaways and notes in there so you'll have a great reference piece afterwards because attending the, the summit attending a workshop watching a webinar all that is really great um, but if you don't do the takeaways and make action happen when you get back you know then that's where it becomes the waste of, of time because you haven't really implemented anything you took the time to learn yeah, exactly. And I think, Beth, you have a special uh, offer for our listeners, don't you? Yeah, so if you would like to attend Grit Summit, just be sure if you go to gritsummit.com, once again, that's with two Ts, um, you just use promo code QSRNation, and we will give you $100 off of your registration, um, which nice. is an awesome discount. So that is just exclusive for our listeners right now. So just does, use. Does that matter if it's a uppercase or lowercase? It, uh, it does not matter, okay. but uh, yeah, just QSR Nation, and we would like to invite you to attend there. We will be there. We will be doing podcasts the entire time time um but we just want to make sure that our listeners have an exclusive discount cool and you guys want anything else i just I hope that you take the time to make the investment um come see us at the grit summit um if you decide to do something different that's fine but do something get your team in to a workshop your team into an event like this you know in the next couple months because you want to go into 2020 with the strongest mindset possible for making your business grow. Yeah, it's a chance for your employees to get outside the daily grind and they can really focus on the big picture then. So. Yeah, exactly, for sure. And do um, you guys feel way more professional today than normal? Uh, no. I do. I do. I, I, I actually feel very professional I, right I mean, we, we look a lot better. People yeah. can see us, but yeah. I, I'm always about, like, you know, age nine on the professionalism. <laughs> That's, That's debatable. <laughs> it's a little high. <laughs> All right, guys, once again, come to or check out gritsummit.com with two Ts. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to us at qsternation at pfsbrands.com. Subscribe to the podcast at pfsbrands.com slash podcast. And we will have a new website up one of these days, too, so we can plug that later on. But um, I guess until next week, for Josh, Grant, Beth, and Tony, we'll talk to you then. This podcast brought to you by Grit Summit 2019. Powered by PFS Brands, join us at Grit Summit September 24th through the 26th in St. Charles, Missouri at the Maristar Hotel. That's grit with two T's, summit.com.